There's no climate change deniers in the scallop fishery. We've lived and experienced it already. My name's Hamish Chung. I'm the Managing Director of Far West Scallops. Our family's been involved in the Abrolla scallop fishery since the mid-1980s. We have our own uh, fleet of vessels, a processing factory just outside of Fremantle. We employ approximately 70 people. I think in the Abrolla scallop fishery we've already seen the impacts of climate change. We had a marine heat wave in 2010-2011 which just fundamentally just wiped out the stocks and the fishery took five years to recover. With hindsight, you can see exactly how it panned out. But at the time, in the season that the heat wave actually occurred, we had one of the best seasons we'd ever had. The water temperature was certainly there. We certainly noticed that, but it didn't seem to have any impact on the stock. But come the surveys, the, you know, six months after the season had ended, the stocks had literally disappeared. And they disappeared for five years. And seasons come and go. You have good seasons, you have bad seasons. But we really hadn't experienced no seasons. What we did find out is that Recovery of the fishery requires time and monitoring and literally no fishing effort. The impacts of the heat wave to our business were, were catastrophic and it's not just as simple as no fishing, no income. You still have to retain you know, your fishing assets. Responsibility for addressing the climate change issues. It really lies with all of us but government really needs to play a key role. I think there's a lot of talk about the costs of addressing climate issues, but I think there's a cost of inaction. It is just literally the right thing to do. You know, it's a moral obligation to look after the resource uh, for us and for future generations. Let's accept that this is something real, something that's happening now, something that's impacting businesses and communities in the here and now as well. So let's act now and address this issue.